Hey everybody, it's another Friday with Father Scott. Um, going to do uh, the upcoming uh, Sunday scripture. Uh, today, though, I'm going to use the Acts of the Apostles. As that story continue on to unfold, uh, uh, we pick it up uh, in Acts 5. When the captain and the court of officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring the man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed and by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at the right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of those things, as in the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismiss them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, the uh, Acts of the Apostles uh, tells the story of what the apostles did. And uh, I like to think that that uh, book continues to be written in the lives and the actions and the words of disciples of Jesus today. And um, even though this is a Friday, yesterday at the school liturgy, I asked the children, what kind of story are you writing? And I think that's a, a, a legitimate question for each and every one of us today. What kind of story are we telling by the living of our lives? I, I remember channel surfing one day, and it's been years ago, but it was, um, I think it was the Oprah Winfrey show. And she said, are you a balcony person or a basement person? And the basement person pulls people down, and the balcony person lifts people up. So in, in light of the gospel, in light of the Acts of the Apostles, I think it becomes apropos. You know, what kind of person am I? And how do we answer the question? So the story continues to be written. Um, here we are, the third weekend of the holy season of Easter. And for us as a parish, you know, we have, uh, I think, about 45 children who will be opening their hearts to receive Eucharist for the very first time. And throughout the uh, season of Easter, it's in the Eucharist where they're able to see Jesus fully and understand who he is. And he breaks open for him the meaning and understanding of the scriptures that he uh, proclaimed and uh, the teachings that he shared with his apostles. And he does the same, I think, for us. So how important is this blessed and holy sacrament for these children and for the life of the parish? Uh, it helps us to recommit ourselves to faithfully following Jesus. So today, um, you know, in the Acts of the Apostles, one of the lines, we must obey God rather than men. I have a little magnet on my fridge that said a good pastor wants to serve God rather than man. So it, it ties in with the Acts of the Apostles. And it's there as a reminder of what we're truly, what I'm truly called to be about. So today, uh, blessings to you and yours. Uh, continue to watch out for your neighbor, your friends. And, you know, as we enter this next week, when uh, our city rolls out the welcome mat for so many visitors, uh, just uh, slow down, uh, party wisely and comfortably, you know, and have a designated driver if you need that and um, have a fun time. So blessings to you and yours and uh, let us remember the Acts of the Apostles today. Take care.